हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सॉइल्स एंड देयर प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एलुवियल सॉइल ब्लैक सॉइल अदर टाइप्स ऑफ सॉइल सॉइल डिग्रेडेशन सॉइल कंजर्वेशन एंड वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक सॉइल इज द थिन सर्फेस लेयर ऑन द अर्थ it is formed under specific natural conditions and this complex process is described as the process of pedogenesis the major factors affecting the formation of soil are relief parent material climate vegetation and other life forms and time besides these human activities also influence it to a large extent soil comprises mineral particles formed by the breakdown of rocks decayed organic materials living organisms water and air components of the soil are mineral particles humus water and air the actual amount of each of these depend upon the type of soil some soils are deficient in one or more of these while there are some others that have varied combinations now let's discuss about alluvial soil alluvial soils are widespread in the northern plains and the river valleys these soils cover about 40% of the total area of the country they are depositional soils transported and deposited by rivers and streams they are generally rich in potash but poor in phosphorus in the upper and middle ganga plain two different types of alluvial soils have developed that is khadar and bhangar khadar is the new alluvium and is deposited by floods annually which enriches the soil by depositing fine sills bhangar represents a system of older alluvium deposited away from the flood plains both the khadar and bhangar soils contain calcareous concretions that is kankars these soils are loamier and more clayey in the lower and middle ganga plain and the brahmaputra valley now let's discuss about black soil black soil covers most of the deccan plateau it includes parts of maharashtra madhya pradesh gujarat andhra pradesh and some parts of tamil nadu In the upper reaches of the Godavari and the Krishna and the northwestern part of the Deccan plateau the black soil is very deep these soils are also known as the regur soil or the black cotton soil the black soils are generally clayey deep and impermeable they swell and become sticky when wet and shrink when dried so during the dry season these soils develop wide cracks thus there occurs a kind of self plowing because of this character of slow absorption and loss of moisture The black soil retains the moisture for a very long time. It helps the crops, especially the rain-fed ones, to sustain even during the dry season. Now let's have a look at some other types of soil. First is red and yellow soil. Red soil develops on crystalline igneous rocks in areas of low rainfall in the eastern and southern part of the Deccan plateau. The fine-grained red and yellow soils are normally fertile, whereas coarse-grained soils found in dry upland areas are poor in fertility they are generally poor in nitrogen phosphorus and humus laterite soil the laterite soils develop in areas with high temperature and high rainfall these are the result of intense leaching due to tropical rains with rain lime and silica are leached away and soils rich in iron oxide and aluminum compound are left behind arid soils arid soils range from red to brown in color they are generally sandy in structure and saline in nature in some areas the salt content is so high that common salt is obtained by evaporating the saline water saline soils they are also known as usara soils Saline soils contain a larger proportion of sodium, potassium and magnesium and thus they are infertile and do not support any vegetative growth. Now let's discuss about soil degradation. Soil erosion. Soil erosion is the removal of soil by the forces of nature example water, wind etc and even man made like deforestation, overgrazing etc. When heavy rain removes the top soil it is called water erosion. example splash erosion rills erosion gully erosion etc in arid and semi arid areas the wind acts as a powerful agent it is called wind erosion soil pollution it is defined as the presence of toxic chemicals in soil in high enough concentrations to pose a risk to human health and or the ecosystem due to overuse of chemicals like pesticides and herbicides the soils are getting polluted increased salinity Salinity means the predominance of chlorides and sulfates of sodium, calcium and magnesium in the soils. 
सॉइल सेलिनिटी एंड सॉइल एल्कैलिनिटी आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ ओवर इरीगेशन इन कैनाल इरीगेटेड एरिया ड्यू टू ओवर इरीगेशन द ग्राउंड वाटर लेवल राइजेज एंड ब्रिंग्स टू द सर्फेस अ लेयर ऑफ व्हाइट सॉल्ट थ्रू कैपिलरी एक्शन Soil conservation includes all those measures which help in protecting the soil from erosion and exhaustion. Soil erosion has been continuing over such a large part of India for such a long time that it has assumed alarming proportions. Methods to conserve soil degradation are afforestation, checking over grazing, constructing dams and changing agricultural practices like crop rotation, contour plowing, strip cropping, terracing etc. Now lastly let's discuss about the way forward the central soil conservation board set up by the government of india has prepared a number of plans for soil conservation these plans are based on the climatic conditions configuration of land and the social behavior of the people integrated land use planning seems to be the best technique for proper soil conservation a revine reclamation program was launched in 1987-88 which was transferred to states in 1991-92 Lands should be classified according to their capability land use maps should be prepared and lands should be put to right uses Now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims question with reference to agricultural soils consider the following statements one a high content of organic matter in soil drastically reduces its water holding capacity two soil does not play any role in the sulfur cycle Three irrigation over a period of time can contribute to the salinization of some agricultural lands. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One and two only, three only, one and three only, or one, two and three? And now mains question. Write a note on causes of soil erosion and its control in India. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.